नम शिवाय ओम 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 नम शिवाय The definition of meditation is mental activity. Whose subject matter is Ishwara. Centered on Ishwara, whatever mental activity is there, is called meditation in puja all the three activity at physical level activity at level of speech and mental activity also is involved that is not meditation in recitation of praise of lord mind and speech are involved that is not meditation but when you do puja recitation japa purely at a mental level that is meditation only mind is involved lord is there that is called meditation who does this meditation meditator does the meditation everyone is a neighbor friend son daughter employer employee father mother etc there are different persons in one and the same person same person relates differently to the world of people father is not meditator he does not meditate on ishvara he meditates on son or daughter neighbor is not a meditator he is a meditator on neighbor really speaking he is not meditator who 
is the basic person? Who is the meditator? The basic person who is son or daughter, who is father or mother, who is friend, in a given situation, that basic person who assumes various roles in different situations is a meditator. The basic person meditates not on son, father, mother, neighbor, but meditates on Lord, the basic person, without assuming any role, relates mentally to the Lord, is a meditator. So they say few things to do in order to arrive at this basic person. You don't become basic person. You become objective to various situations. Physically, or mentally related. In order to arrive at the basic person, the meditator, talking about this, Bhagavan says in Bhagavad Gita, Sparshan Krutva Bahihi Bahyan. Keeping external things external, the meditator meditates. External objects like mountains, rivers, river beds are external. Who am I to keep them external? Well, sometimes some objects become internal too. Visualize the mountains. Related to these mountains, how are you? You don't want mountains to be different from what they are. They remain external. You appreciate them objectively. You are objective. 
with respect to mountains. Since you do not have any demand from the mountain, a tree, visualize a tree. How are you relating to a tree? Non demanding. You are objective. Birds, sky, chirping of the birds. Sunrise, moving clouds, the valley, flowing river. No demands. You don't want them to be different from what they are. You are objective. The people in general, white, black, or in between. Visualize. You can't be objective if you have color prejudice. Think of your father. You can't say I have no demands. There is a wish that he was different. That wish makes your father not only outside but inside too, in form of wish. He is object of your wish. I wish he was different. Can you be objective to your father? You can't take your father as unknown person. You have care, love. That is acceptable. Love and care don't make you tense, disturbed, dissatisfied. But your agenda for your father makes you disturb. How to drop agenda? Well, you can say, this is how my father was in my perception. This is how my father is in my perception. In this way, you accept your father 
as he was, he is, granting him freedom. Same way, visualize mother, son, daughter, husband, wife, brother, sister, neighbor, employer, employee. Visualize each of them in sequence and say mentally, this is how each one of them is in my perception. Any other person to whom you are connected, visualize grant freedom by saying mentally, this is how this person is in my perception. If you think a change on part of the person is good for him or good for you, do what you can. If you are helpless, pray. When you are just objective to people to whom you are related, you keep them external. Come to your own body. Can you be just objective to your body? Height, weight, gender, color, age, health, looks. Can you say this is how this body is? If you can say you are objective to your own body, Watch your breathing. Inhalation, 
exhalation. Watch your normal breathing. You are objective to your own pranas. So to watch your mind, varieties of thoughts, This is how my mind is. You are objective to your own mind. When you observe your mind, mind likely to be quiet. Let it be so. Who am I? I am a conscious person. It is evident. Who is conscious of mind, body, pranas, senses, the world. This conscious person is naturally relaxed. This conscious person is the basic person. The basic individual who is simple, conscious, naturally objective. Like even as you hear these words, you are conscious, objective. You don't know or you don't want to know what is next to be said by Swami. As the words are heard, you see the meaning. Your objectivity is not lost. Your mind is awake. Your ears can hear. There are words of a Swami. Hearing takes place. Hearing takes place. This is significant fact about you. You are a conscious person. The mind is awake. Ears can hear. There is something to hear. Hearing takes place. Hearing 
takes place. It does not take your permission. Your will do not play any role. You don't will to hear. You hear. Hearing takes place. Because I am a conscious being. Simple conscious being. Naturally objective. Hearing takes place. You don't will to hear what is next to be said. Still, hearing takes place. Ego Vinda He Gopal He Govinda He Gopal Hearing takes place. You remain the same. Words are different. You remain the same. Same means naturally relaxed. Ego Vinda Ego Pal Ego Vinda You are not anxious. What is next to be said by Swami? Still, hearing takes place. Because I am a conscious being. Simple, conscious being naturally relaxed. I don't will to hear. I hear because I am a conscious being. When no words are heard, I am conscious of silence. Now I hear the words. I am conscious of words. Basically, I am conscious being, simple conscious being, naturally relaxed. Hearing takes place. You don't become really relaxed. You become tense. You are relaxed. You tend to become tense. When your objective, just being yourself, a basic conscious person, you are relaxed. He is the meditator. The meditator has to become familiar 
with this basic person. More familiar you are with this basic person, more relaxed you are in the life. This basic person, meditator, mentally relates to the Lord. That is called meditation. A simple conscious being I am. Just one step more to tell I am consciousness. I am consciousness. I am consciousness. First step is to arrive at this basic conscious being. The next step is to claim I am consciousness. Om, 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 Om. Om Shanti. The Shanti Shanti.